hello friends uh, welcome to my channel uh, in today's session uh, i am going to create uh, one sm small automation uh, using lambda function uh, so in today's session i will create one lambda function and that lambda function when tested then it will create a ec2 instance automatically okay so without wasting time let's start our lab uh, so to create a lambda function first we need to create a, a role okay so we have to click on that i am role services now after clicking on uh, i am role services uh, uh, but for that role we need to create a, a policy okay so in the policy section uh, click on create policy now uh, in uh, that policy uh, we use the json file and uh, we are going to write some code in that json file something like that which is uh, in the json format okay create some log and put some log events in cloudwatch okay so these things are put it in that json file and after uh, that uh, click on the next uh, if we want if you want to give um the tag it's actually optional so we are not going to do it and click on next review and uh, here uh, we have to give the name of that policy so test in the score uh, yeah, lambda okay something like that description is optional no need to I'll give a description so now uh, click and uh, create policy button so uh, okay yeah, the green message signaling the policy test lambda has been created here in the list okay so now we are going to create a role and uh, uh, for that create, click on the create role button uh, once you click the clear create role it will asking uh, which type and here we select the aws service actually it's a basic use case this common uses so uh, here it is allow lambda function to call aws services so we select the lambda uh, for in the common use cases and uh, click on the next permission and here they are asking for the policy so we already uh, create policy for that so test lambda here it is in the list yeah okay and select it and uh, click on next step uh, we are not going to give that tag name it's optional and review uh, here name give the role name test lambda one giving that name uh, description is already given so click on create role button uh, when we create that role yeah the role test uh, lambda one has been created so now uh, two things are created one policy and uh, one is the test lambda uh, the role actually we use that role in the lambda function uh, because uh, lambda function cannot access the uh, things regarding ec2 so with that policy and role they are uh, lambda function are able to access the things okay so now click on the uh, we are moon on the lambda function service so click on the lambda services uh, in that service uh, there is no any function so we create a new function by create function click on create function uh, and select author from scratch okay and uh, here uh, we need to give we give the name taste underscore lambda underscore ec2 it's a um, lambda function name and in the runtime we, uh, we are going to select one time which language you prefer uh, for mine self i just select python 3.9 you can select java go or uh, c sharp ruby but uh, we are going to use here python 3.9 and uh, in the below tab select change default execution role in that uh, select use an existing role and in, in the existing role uh, uh, select 
the role which we already created test lambda one which is created before that function okay so select that uh, test lambda and create uh, click on create function now after click on it our lambda function uh, is successfully created and uh, now we need to write some code in that lambda function so we are just change some code in that function so, so the code something like that okay so this code r is for the small automation so we are using uh, boto3 actually boto3 is a uh, one uh, aws sdk which is used to support the python okay so here we create some environmental variable ami instance type key name submit id region okay uh, yeah, here we are inside some small script using uh, yum update and install the things automatically shut down okay and uh, we run the instance uh, using that uh, particle some information so we are getting okay now after writing that code we need to deploy but before deploy uh, we need to uh, create environmental variable so for that you have to go in that uh, configuration tab so click on it configuration tab and uh, in that uh, click on add it button okay and then uh, click on add environment variable actually we declare some variable in that section so uh, uh, here we have to declare some variable okay the environment variables here we are declare mi uh, instance type key name vision and subnet id having with the value here in uh, mi i use this value actually this value is for creating uh, the linux amazon machine actually you can select uh, these uh, things from when you are creating the uh, instance instance uh, when you are performing some steps so at the time you select uh, uh, different type of the server whether linux server so at that relax uh, any server having its id so just put that id over here and instance type here there are the lots of in the uh, type but i am here use t2 micro uh, and uh, key name so here i just put ec2 linux lambda that uh, key i created in key pair section you can create that things in the key pair section and put that name over here okay and then uh, region section uh, i select ap north east actually this region is a, a tokyo region and in the tokyo region uh, its value is ap north east one you can see over here it's a tokyo ap north east one so uh, you can uh, uh, give the value according to your convenience whether you want to create that in us east one or uh, california then us west one so you can give that particular value over here and uh, in the subnet id uh, you need to give the value of the subnet subnet value particular region are having with the default subnet so put that subnet value so he, this subnet is from the uh, ap northeast one so i put it over here and then click on save button okay now so our environment variables are created this those all are the access in that particular code of the lambda function here it is okay uh, we are accessing that okay so after uh, creating the environment and variables and uh, writing that code we are going to deploy the, our lambda function for that we need to click on deploy button so click on deploy okay uh, now the change deployed you change is happening now our function is saved successfully now we can test our function here there are the different tab code test monitor configuration alias and version so after you deploy that lambda function we are going to test uh, run that lambda function so click on the test tab okay test on here here in the right side there is a clear test button so click on in the, it and the execution is function is started and here execution results succeed and if you want to watch that log then click on the detail and uh, here you can see the total duration is uh, 1644 uh, milliseconds taken to run that functions okay so the function is successfully executed there is no any error so 
now I'm going to check whether that test is successfully executed the small automation or not. So for that, actually what our code is for to create an EC2 instance using Lambda function. So here, uh, it's a small log in that you can see. Okay, and uh, here we create a uh, EC2 instance, a Linux instance. It's a Linux instance. So here, and that uh, instance is automatically shut down. Here we write some script here. So, so now we are going to check whether our EC2 instance is created or not. So in for that, go to the console in the EC2 services. Click on EC2 services, and in the instances, uh, here, yeah, here it is. It's a uh, uh, this last one is uh, created by the lambda function. It is in the running state and the status check uh, is initializing. Still, it's remaining for the two by two check. But yes, in the AP North East one, we select. Okay, so this EC2 instance is uh, automatically generated by the lambda function having with the private and public IPs. Okay, so uh, this. Uh, Lambda function is uh, here we are used to create a uh, EC2 instance. Okay, so if you guys have any query regarding that, then you can comment me, I'll reply to you. Sure, okay, uh, thank you, thank you for watching for my videos, thank you very much.